if there was ever a movie that you'd expect to see there lurking around on your Netflix account in the kind of place, I've never heard of this movie type situation, it's going to be Unknown Caller. So Unknown Caller is a 2014 techno thriller. I say thriller with kind of air quotations, but it's really not that thrilling. I guess you would kind of say it's maybe a, a very light horror film as well. But the basic premise of this movie is we have this guy in this kind of large uh, sort of American house and he's, he's installed this kind of high-tech security system with like, laser grids and cameras and, you know, locking doors and all that sort of thing, basically. And he has his kind of daughter over for this one particular weekend. And then someone basically takes over his system and essentially uses it against him, keeping him hostage in his own home with the threat that there's going to be a bomb there and going to blow up unless he does precisely what this guy's asking. We get a couple of other people kind of join the cast and end up getting kind of wrapped up in it as well. But basically, this, the, the whole kind of the, the premise of this film is this kind of mystery person giving commands to uh, the folks trapped in this house, basically, with the threat of death uh, if they don't do what it basically is told. And ultimately, trying to find out who this guy is and what his motivations are. So that's your, that's your getting the basic premise here. I feel the actual, and that's really it, that's all it is. I mean, the, the idea there, I feel was just stretched out a little bit too thin because it might be an, a, an idea for a, a part of a film or a kind of t like an episode of a TV show. But for a whole movie, I, I just feel it's a little bit too, I don't know, the, the kind of novelty wears off very quickly. Now you've seen a similar movie in uh, the Kiefer Sutherland and uh, Colin Farrell movie Phone Booth, but that's obviously that had was a, a professional, higher budget movie. This one's a kind of a lower budget film. It doesn't kind of it just doesn't keep your interest that much. I will say a couple of positives about this film. I think whilst it is obviously a very low budget film, they do a good job of kind of fooling you into thinking that this may be a kind of uh, it looks better than it really costs. If that makes sense, some of the kind of the the shots here, the kind of the uh, the cinematography, you know, use of, the, use of music and stuff like that gives you the impression that the production here was probably a little bit higher than it actually is. They do a good job, I think, of making this film look the best it can possibly look. So on a technical level, I feel it's very good in, in, actual, in actual fact. Um, the problem is here, right, the, the actual story is just not very interesting. But the main issue and, and why it will kind of feel that way is that it really just falls into the such such cliches. I mean, the guy, um, the guy who's kind of like terrorising them, you know, it just he, he, the way he's speaking and this and the kind of the the things that you have to do basically is just so many cliches. And unfortunately, as well to go with that, there's so many kind of unlogical things that happen or don't happen. Uh, so it really just comes across this uh, as the the script may be is the, maybe the uh, the problem here. Just kind of like a low budget script where things just haven't been thought through properly, basically, and don't really make sense when you kind of think too much into it. And the premise is just stretched that little bit. Too too thin where you're kind of thinking man this was quite a good idea but you're kind of losing interest pretty fast i think the pool the performances here are passable um you know there's i don't i wouldn't say it's you know, a particularly great acting unnecessarily but they're they're fine for this kind of like level of move i don't think there's any problem there's definitely not any bad acting i would say here but at the very best is, is passable uh, and this is really the thing with this film it's kind of it's, it's not bad in any stretch of the imagination but i, I feel in no way that it excels in, in any particular area either and unfortunately it made me just fall short on, on things like with the script and it, it, you, your attention I would say would probably start to wane about halfway through because it doesn't seem to kind of progress that that far and you kind of feel you're kind of just seeing the same thing over and over there's a task and another task some cryptic clues and you kind of feel like you've seen it all before uh plus you you know you, it throws in all these typical kind of horror cliches i mean the guy is ripping off things like scream and saw and the way he's talking and the kind of things you have to do uh this is why i'm saying it has it although it's not really a horror film there's, there's very there's not really any horror in it to be fair but it just has some of the trappings that you've sort of seen in some horror films, basically. Um, and it's a kind of thriller, like I said, that the pace of it is, is slow. Uh, and you get a little bit of action kind of here and there, but when you start to question it, think, how, how has this all got constructed? And where has the time come from? It's, you know, you really do pick it apart thinking, this is actually kind of silly. So I'm gonna give this movie a four out of 10. I really don't think it's a, a fun movie to watch, but it's 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 well made to for the to, you know to the for the actual product that we've got here. So 
you you won't be thinking ah oh, that was a poorly made movie you'll just think ah it's kind of boring and i didn't really get much out of it so four out of ten for me have you seen it what do you think of it leave me a comment and i will look forward to seeing you next time bye for now